Hey everybody, this is Dan Tack from Game Informer, and I'm here with Suriel Vasquez. Hello. And we got a chance to play through the Hirata Estates in From Software's new game, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. The Hirata Estates are really like the first area where you can kind of see how they're approaching combat a little bit differently with you sort of getting this overlook of different areas before you engage with them instead of basically having all these blind hallways. You know, the thing that stood out to me the most was this was the first time I really got a sense of how grappling and traversal is going to make this game very different. I was able to sequence break very quickly and find different areas, different mini bosses to take on almost immediately. It also showed off how the different enemy types can kind of work in tandem better than they have in other games. So we fought sort of a mini boss and we were also being attacked by archers and regular enemies. Yeah, so what's really interesting about that is there's actually a strategic aspect added by those minis, the smaller things and the bosses, because you can use those to replenish your stock of lives by killing them which is really cool and adds to the whole death mechanic, resurrection mechanic, all that stuff is really crazy. And there's also mutant roosters. Yeah. So this is a really interesting map because, you know, From Software has always excelled at atmosphere. Everything's burning, and guess what? You can swim. You have the uh, revolving doors instead of sort of like the illusory walls. They better bleed into sort of the environments in that if you kind of suspect that there's a wall there, you kind of know that you can tap the wall and sort of rotate to the other side and find something cool. Yes, yeah, so this isn't really in the main area of the game. This is sort of an area that you access via memories using a magical bell. So it's sort of not tied into the rest of the areas. It's sort of its own area out of the way. And we actually had a chance to fight the boss of the zone as well, the Butterfly Hag. Later in the month, we'll have a deeper dive on the bosses of Sekiro. For more about Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, come to GameInformer.com all month for tons of new features and information.